Hi, and welcome to this video. In this video, I will explain the concept of templates and how templates help team collaboration and document management. Then I will show you how to find the right templates amongst the dozens of free ones provided by Confluence, and you will learn how to create great looking pages using templates. After watching the video, you will be able to find the right templates for your needs, create new documents from them, and improve your team collaboration and efficiency. Enjoy the video. There are likely two aspects of work where Confluence is most beneficial, content creation and team collaboration. For effective usage, it is critical that content styling and structure are standardized as much as possible. That is very hard to accomplish even if one person is the only content creator and consumer. It is even more challenging as more people contribute to the content. This is where templates come to the rescue. Templates are essentially forms where a user only needs to fill in the information and not worry about styles and layouts. They are all predefined and ready to use. Confluence in the cloud comes with almost a hundred defined templates and the number is growing. It provides extensive coverage ranging from project documents such as project status report to HR documents like a job posting. It does not take much sense to try to list them all as the list is continually growing. To have a peek at the current set, you can browse through all templates on your own at this Confluence page. If that is not enough, you can create your own templates and publish them only for your Confluence users. In the rest of this video, I will show you how to create a new page from an existing template. As soon as you click on the Create button to create a new page, on the right-hand side of the screen, you are offered the wide choice of templates you can use. You can scroll through them, read short descriptions to find out more about what they do, and if you do hover over it, you can also see the preview of the whole template as you scroll down. You can filter templates by category, and you can also do a text search. I want to use the product requirements template, so I will start typing the word requirements. The results will quickly narrow down to what I'm looking for. I will first have a quick preview to make sure this is the template I need, and once I'm happy with it, I will click on it to create a page. After a few seconds, the page comes up with a lot of elements already formatted. All headings are there, and so are several tables. Roadmap Planner macro is embedded, and Status macro is embedded as well. What is left for me to do is to fill in the placeholders with the content specific to the requirement I am working on, let's say user authentication. I will fill in a couple of sections, and I will stop the recording while I'm doing that. With meaningful content, my page already looks much better. I will create one more requirements page, this time for modify user address, and I will follow the same steps to create a new page. I will use the same template, and I will again pause recording while adding the rest of the content. Now let's suppose you are someone who is given these two documents to use them to create a solution designed for both requirements. Would your job be easier if you have received these two documents I just created starting from the template? Or if you received these two documents with identical content as the other two, but they were created by two different people starting from a blank page? You are now ready to create Confluence pages using templates. Key takeaways regarding Confluence templates are Standardized structure and styles are key factors for efficient collaboration and document management. Templates will help teams to adhere to standards. And Confluence comes with dozens of templates and you can create custom ones as well. Thank you for watching the video.